welcome to lead manufacturing lessons for people who trade reading with me anand today we are going to look at how to improve the productivity in a garment industry now how to identify the various ways in the operations in a typical garment industry and how can we reduce these waste and improve the productivity that's what we are going to see today so let's get started a quick overview of the garment industry see this particular industry constitutes to 13 percentage of india's total exports roughly works out to about 35 billion dollars in total on export value and this particular sector employs more than 4.5 crores of people directly and another you know, 1.5 crore people indirectly and it's a typical you know uh, high labor intensive unit most of the units they have about you know, 500 people 1000 people those kind of you no know, industries and uh, labor intensive we need more manpower to run these industries most of them will be women employees i have seen many garment units where more than 90 percentage is women employees so this is how the industry is structured in india a typical assembly line in a garment unit consists of these you no know, activities no i have not taken the cutting activity and the finishing and packing activity and let us focus on the assembly activity so so these are all the various activities present in a typical assembly line in a garment unit stitching activities then ironing activities attaching yeah they attach two or three pieces together so those attaching activities will be there overlocking then gaja activity then button stitching and uh, gathering activity trimming inspection so these are some of the activities that are performed inside the assembly line in a garment unit i'm going to uh, no uh, explain about work versus waste yeah quickly to give a, a quick idea work means whenever there is a physical or chemical change it can be called as work and whenever there are no change in the product it's called as waste yeah whenever there is a physical or chemical change it can be called as a work so uh, you, in case you want to learn more about this work versus waste just click this uh, video link here somewhere yeah you will get a link so you can be very clear on this work versus waste i'm going to uh, play a video now can you identify the various waste in this assembly line this video i have taken from youtube this is from a from a garment unit in vietnam i think so it is available publicly in youtube so i have t- just taken a small portion from that video i'm i'm going to play it now identify the work versus waste yeah whenever there is a change in the product it can be called as work so these are all now aligning activity the person who is performing yeah that is just an aligning activity here also if you look at the operator has just started yeah now only she is stitching it yeah only when the needle touches the component that's when the work happens can you see the bundles various no oh, wab which is present in the unit yeah the line so whatever she is doing now these are all just alignment there is no actual work happening can you see the wab here bundles she is just taking the components assembling it there is no work for this particular person now the other person also just started to work yeah so now started working this person is working she is having some wab is working you see the wab is when the bundles some people are working some people are not working they are waiting for the components they are waiting for components so whenever the needle moves now the, the stitching is happening then that's a work see how much wap they have and whenever the machine stops the work also stops now also yeah so what are the various ways you can identify yeah can you give it in your comments yeah please share it in the comment box what are the various ways you can identify in this assembly line i have shared my you know thoughts on this 
most of the units if you see they have this assembly lines but inside this assembly lines they follow only bundle system bundle system means that you know they have the small 20 numbers 30 number bundles or sometimes 10 10 pieces so they, they, they move the component in bundles yeah so which means a lot of wap gets created in the assembly line i can identify these ways like waiting ways over production parts mismatch see whenever there are a lot of components there is a possibility that people stitch wrong parts right size 40 let us say this this shirt is size 40 they may stitch uh, size 38 uh, cuff here they may stitch a uh, different uh, size you know, sleeve here so parts mismatch will be a big issue searching searching for the components will be a big issue overall there will be a lot of inventory how to reduce these wastes how can we reduce these wastes continuous flow right most of the assembly line they are built for the purpose of continuous flow but inside they, they don't follow it but they use a bundle system what we can do is we can follow continuous flow with the line balancing the line balancing here means we have to make sure that all the activities inside the line should have same cycle times more or less yeah more or less if the activities have same, same cycle time the line is in a balanced state there may be some operation which have high cycle time so what we need to do is we need to break those activities into two activities or we have to put you know, two people for performing this operation or combine two low cycle time operations can be combined two low cycle time operations these are the two immediate things which we can do to streamline or smoothen the flow inside a line but there may be some bottleneck activities where we can straight away go and reduce the high cycle time also there may be some unnecessary activity like aligning some small activities which we can do some improvements also to bring down the cycle times so that, that is also possible when we do all these you know activities we are trying to smoothen the line so whenever we created a continuous flow with the proper line balancing we have achieved more than 20 percentage improvement in the overall output from the line we have seen this in many units and i also request you to follow this yeah create a continuous flow with the proper line balancing so that you get a smooth output from the line so this you can follow it in your garment unit also in case you want any support please give us a call if you like this video and you found this particular video to be very useful for your company yeah, please give a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to our uh, youtube channel you can also click the bell icon so that whenever we post a new video you will get a notification please share it with your friends and colleagues yeah that's more important we share a lot of content related to lean manufacturing very often so please subscribe and in case you want some support on implementing lean for your industry please give us a call thank you very much i will talk to you guys in the next video bye